the opinion that you're still using and and misusing me and my money. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Is that what the, the essence of this is? Yes. Okay. Then he needs to be confronted. We need to find out the truth because all of us are laboring under the assumption that he is and it may be justified. It may be the case. Let's determine if that is the case. Let's sit down as a family, get face to face, and let him off. And if he cries or curls up or don't want to meet with you or don't want to see you, and he doesn't, that's clear. He's hitting the back of the car rather than let his presence be known the other day when we came up, came up here looking for whatever it was I needed. So that's got to be dealt with. This issue has got to be dealt with. Because there's no sense in me making plans to try and leave something for Jazz and Kiera if he's got plans to spend it all on himself and drugs and whatever else it is he's buying. Um, that needs to be confirmed. And the confirmation would be best done by a doctor. Yes, he has cocaine in his system. Yes, he's using. I see evidence of uh, habitual use. And then that's it. I'm through with it. So it's got to be in the hands of professionals. Because I saw him admit that he had misused your mother's money and her estate planning for his own benefit, buying this and that and whatever else he was buying. So he admitted it finally. I asked him one day, I said, did you misuse your mother's money? That's what you're being accused of. He dropped his head. He said, yes, I was. I thought that was the end of it in terms of misusing her money, that everybody was aware and that steps had been taken to stop him from doing that, however he was doing it. Now I'm being told, no, he hasn't stopped. He's still misusing it. Still misusing it. Misusing your money now. And I'm not, the only way to stop it is to have a confrontation. I'm not going to bring no priest in and pray and all of that. Come in here and sit down, man. Tell me. Because I have asked him in the last couple of weeks, I said, are you using again? He said, no, I'm, I'm smoking, but I'm not using. So I said, well, an addict can't smoke. I'm not here to argue with you as to who can do what, Shannon. I'm just stating facts, as you did and as I listened for as long as you talk. All I'm doing is just stating facts. So, the only thing I propose to do is, you got his motel or in his room, at the motel, go get him, bring him here, and let's have this conversation with the whole family. It's gotta happen. It can't go on. It can't continue. I don't have no family life now. You tell me, you tell me, as bad as I want to be with Bill and you and, and, and Kiara, Sit out in the car to three and four in the morning. At my age, 81 years old, sitting on his car, excuse me, Kara, and, and you know, for using her family as I talk to you. What the hell? I said, I come in here, I can't sleep. All I can do is watch TV. Get up in the morning, five and six in the morning, can't sleep. Drive down to Willie's. That's my day. I said, I didn't want my life to be like this. Not here in Colorado. What am I running and hiding for? When do I get some peace?